Now, a lot of the comments were based around how this knot will jam if you put a lot of tension on the line. And you know what? They're right. If you put a lot of tension on this knot, everything jams up and you do need a knife or a five pound hammer to take it apart. So watch how simple it is to fix that. It's almost identical. The only difference is I'm going to put an extra big wrap in the mix. So instead of two, I'm going to go one, two, three, grab onto my line, and then I'll do my two little wraps around my rope. Let's slip this out. I'll pull this tight, get it dressed up for you guys. Now I have three turns on bottom and two turns on top. These three bottom turns is what was initially wrapped around my hand, and these two top ones is what got wrapped around the rope. And as long as I have a gap up here, when I pull this tight, this extra turn down at the bottom grips onto this free end and it prevents it from slipping through and tightening up. Now when everything's said and done, I simply pull my knot away from my anchor point and I push this working end through and I'm able to undo the rest of the knot. This rope is rated at a thousand pounds plus. It's quarter inch Paramax. It's my favorite rope out of any that I use. Now, when you put a knot into any rope, it's gonna decrease its strength by about 10 to 50%, depending on the knot that you use. So when we snap this, we can assume that we put at least 500 to 1,000 pounds of force on it. But even with that, we'll be able to see that we're still able to untie it. All right, we're gonna try that again, but this time we're gonna do one, two, three wraps, collect our line, and then we'll do our two small wraps. Let's pull this all tight. All right, let's see how we do. I'd call that a success. If you ever need a high tension knot that you can still untie, just remember three big wraps and two little wraps. And that'll give you a reliable knot that just may be your answer.